We're going to do a quick Dear Sarah here. So everyone now knows that Dear Abby's dead. And so if you need advice, I'm the person you need to go to. You can email us, dearsarahattheblaze.com. So here is the latest. Dear Sarah, everyone knows that if you want to find a good man, you have to be on X. That's where all the men who believe women are past their prime at 25 and consider Margot Robbie as mid-hangout. My X account got permanently banned, and now I'm missing out on all the opportunities to attract these men. What can I do to rebuild my new account when I return, thus attracting more of these confident and assertive alpha male chads. Sincerely, of course, my producer added, uh, searching for alpha males chads, alpha male chads. Um, I would say, hello, Annette, we miss you on Twitter. Um, I don't know, okay, I need for her to let me know why she got banned. I'm not sure why she got permanently suspended, but I will say, Annette, um, I do think that you, the not being on Twitter is the best place for you to find men, like literally anywhere else, literally anywhere else. Oh, and by the way, if they call themselves an alpha, they're not. Is that, I'm, I'm sitting with two males. I should get your, I should get your expertise. Do you find that if someone on Twitter has to tell everyone that they are an alpha male, that they are in fact an alpha male? Well, in some cases, it, it, like Nick Adams, for example, I, I enjoy the Nick Adams school of thought on this, where he is obviously an alpha male, and it serves to almost humiliate the beta males for him to so incessantly remind everybody of his alpha status. So in some cases, I do appreciate it. So if it's it, a bit. It's not a bit, it's just true. Well, but I mean, if it's a recur, like this is obviously a recurring character of his of his Twitter, right? A recurring like character. He has of excellent Twitter. character. Thank you for observing oh that. But gosh, it's not like a so character. Annoying. You're implying that. Uh, anyways, in most cases, oh, yeah. it is true that. Uh, I don't like your answer. Fine, you don't get the rest of it. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, finish, John Doyle. In most cases, yeah, no, it's totally beta. But yeah, if you're generally, and I, you know, I say this with <laughs> the best interest at heart for women, get offline. Any guy you meet on Twitter is going to be autistic. It's just, it's not a good idea. It's not good. Eric? Yeah, that's, they are probably going to be autistic if you do meet them on Twitter and gay. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. So, yeah, probably not the best place to meet guys. Yeah, I would say. you want autistic gay guys. Some people into that. What about, <laughs> are, they, are, they, are they straight women? Uh... I don't know. So understand, too, what you're getting into. <laughs> Why is it so sad that you're like, I don't even, what is straight anymore? What is women anymore? Okay. I don't know how to answer this Margot question. Margot Robbie is mid. So if you're going to jump into oh that arena God. knowing that that's a five, you better bring something to the table that's higher than that. I mean, I dated Margot for a while. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. <laughs> very sweet. But she's mid. And you just have to keep that in mind if you're going to jump into that arena and think that you can, you know, run with the bigger dogs. Would you like to tell the audience whether you're being sarcastic or serious? Out of respect for Margot, uh, <laughs> I probably won't get into the personal details. You don't kiss and tell. No, I definitely tell, but not in detail, um, especially with, you know. So you have kissed a woman before? No, 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 that was part of the problem. Is like, you know, Emma Watson was more understanding of that when she and I dated, but Margot, she was 